Lothian, my dad, Fabian Lothian, uh, sends his regards as well. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, we go way back uh, with Mr. Caldwell, as I refer to him all the time. Uh, back in the mid-70s, my dad had moved a family. We, had, uh, we were living in Puerto Rico, and my dad moved a family to the Fort Lauderdale area, and after a year there, came over uh, to the Gulf side and was looking for work. And he enrolled us at uh, Keswick School, and while he was there, the principal at the school said, hey, we have some jobs that can be done around here. What can you do? And he said, whatever. So he said, uh, we have some painting that can be done. Do you want to paint? My dad, who frankly can't paint, said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as he was looking at my dad's resume, he noticed that he had done some, uh, some stuff in radio. He had a radio shop when he was back in Jamaica and had some radio experience and aspirations to do more in radio. And so he said, well, you know, you ought to go over to the radio station and talk to Bill Caldwell. And so began our connection to Mr. Caldwell. Uh, my dad worked there until he retired as an announcer, a board operator. And of course, since my dad was there, I hung out at the radio station. Uh, we had one car, and so a lot of times when things were going on at the school, I would uh, do whatever, a basketball game, whatever, and then go over to the radio station and hang out and go home with my dad, because he typically worked the night shift. And it was probably when I was around 14, 15 years old, uh, Mr. Caldwell said to my dad, you know, your son's always hanging out around here. Why don't, uh, why don't we start teaching him how to do the work? We could use him in the summertime. At the time, you had to have your at least third class license to be on air. And so I started studying for the third class license and um, eventually got ready to take that test. They did away with the test before I took it, <laughs> so I aced it. Um, and so, and this is a true story, the, I think it was around the summertime, early summer, and Mr. Moffat, who was working the overnight shift, uh, fell and broke his legs roller skating with the kids, and they tapped me to start my career. And so I worked the board shift <coughs> overnight, so here, I was 16 years old, and he put his radio station in the hands of a 16 year old. <laughs> now at the time, I thought I could do anything, so it didn't really mean a whole lot to me other than this is pretty cool, but now as I look back on it, a 16 year old kid running your radio station, uh, someone, someone came in in the morning just to help me make sure that his show that he did, Morning Man, I got on the air, uh, and it was fine, I, I was able to do it, and, and I worked there, every single summer and every break that I had straight through uh, the end of grad school. It was the way that I was able to pay my way through school. Um, so when I look, I look at what he meant to our family, uh, beyond the, the memories of him playing with his short shorts and no shirt tennis out there all the time. Um, and I played him one time, didn't do that well. But you know, I, he, he played a pivotal role in all aspects of our lives as a family, um, allowing my dad to have a great career there and helping me to get my career started. And um, I never forgot it. I think uh, I reached out to him on every holiday and when he got onto Facebook, I would <laughs> like his posts and he would like mine. And we just kind of, wow, he was hip even at that age. <laughs> It's interesting how when I was listening to your remarks, I did not, um, I didn't know all that about his, uh, his childhood. And when I would walk around the station there as a, as a teenager, Mr. Caldwell was this big guy who had, had the voice yeah. and he had it all together. You know, it, I don't think that I ever felt as if I had to you know, I could even relate to him on that level. I would, I thought he was perfect, and, and you know, if I only knew that, I'd try to have some interesting talks with him. <laughs> um, but it's great to see how God can change a life, mm -hmm. yeah. and then that life. I mean, imagine if he had been successful in some of these things that you spoke about. What would I have done? I mean, 
I'm sure I would have ended up somewhere doing something, but there was a reason why he was able to go through all of that and eventually accomplish what he accomplished, and then to open the door for a teenager to get his start in broadcasting. Um, I thank God for that, and I thank God for 